The 2018 Hyundai Ioniq plug-in hybrid was fully charged, and Eco mode was selected. Pulling out onto a busy boulevard, we suppressed the urge to floor the accelerator, instead dipping maybe halfway into the pedal's travel. And the engine fired up. Clearly, Hyundai's dedicated Eco warrior doesn't behave like the Chevrolet Volt and the Toyota Prius Prime, which flaunt their capability to drive without tailpipe emissions keeping their gasoline engines shut off as much as possible. It was an unexpected first impression. This observation underscores that plug-in hybrids aren't all built to the same formula. They're automalgams, products of a diet rich in California's EV credit steroids and engineered for regulatory compliance. While the Volt and the Prius Prime let you lock in electric mode for a distance that's within daily commuting range for many Americans, the Ionic plug-in hybrid's powertrain operates more like that of Ford's Fusion Energy and C-Max Energy, the Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid, and the Hyundai Sonata plug-in hybrid. The gasoline engine definitely fires up less often than in a standard hybrid, but the boundaries are blurred. For the Ionic, Hyundai says it depends on torque demands, load, and vehicle speed, and even the rate at which you depress the accelerator. Provided you're okay with it concept. This is a very pleasant driving car that applies the charge you put in the battery toward getting as many miles as possible out of what is in the fuel tank. Just as in the Hyundai Ionic Hybrid, the plug-in has a 104 horsepower 1.6-liter Atkinson cycle inline 4 that claims 40% thermal efficiency. There's a lightweight, low-friction 6-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox with an electric motor affixed to the transmission's input and a computer-controlled clutch bringing the engine into or out of the mix. What's different is that in place of the hybrid's 1.6 kWh battery pack, the FEV has a larger 8.9 kWh version that can be fully charged in just 2.5 hours with level 2, 240 volt, hardware, enabling what Hyundai anticipates to be 27 miles of all-electric range. Keeping a light foot on the throttle, we saw long stretches of 70 mile per hour cruising using only battery power. A 60 horsepower electric motor replaces the hybrid's 43 horsepower unit to enable that wider band of electric operation.